Psalm 16. It begins with the words of Jesus as we come into Holy Week. Remember, there is that beginning of Palm Sunday, and then everything seems to go downhill. Psalm 16 says, Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. Can you hear the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ? This is a messianic psalm. This psalm at the very end, as I'll read, will explain why he could still sit in the seat of the donkey and let the parade go on and let them say, Hosanna to the son of David, because, because of his faith, because of his understanding of the promises and the prophecies. Jesus was a perfect human being. He didn't have our weaknesses. What he had was a trust in his Father that we really need. At the end it says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave. Can you hear Jesus? When he read that, he wondered who was this speaking about? Was this about David or was this about someone more important? And he knew. He knew these words were breathed through David for him. They're breathed through David through Jesus for us. Because when we face death, it's not over. He'd say it to Martha when he'd say, do you believe this? And he can raise Lazarus from the dead. Do you believe that I am the Christ, the promised one? You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Now there's the kind of power in the Psalms that remind us God is at work. And where God is at work, we know that it will end in life, not in death. And in Holy Week, we are going to celebrate again the overwhelming power of Easter. But first, we have to go through the valley of the shadow of death. And I want you to think about how much faith it took for Jesus, knowing all that he knew, how much faith it took to go through that week and not give up, not turn aside, he did it for you.